a o lagbara o pastor adepoyi to ti fese pada fun wole makos ti betan lori oro owo taiti yen wo idamewa sisan hmm ile yi o wa poju oro idoju e ninu folo yi ni pastor adepoyi ti salaye pipe bi awon se toro idariji lowo awe eyan patapata nipa oro owo idamewa sisan lai pe yi eh pe ko ni ko tumo si wipe awon ni ki won ma san owo idamewa iyen taiti mo o sugbon awon toro aforiji ohun lori oro ta won so ni pape ti won o ba san owo idamewa won ni ri ijoba orun wo ni wipe oro na yato se ra won kan ye ma twist e mo he o lagbara o teyin yo ba ku gbagbe pipe like pe yi ni pastor deboye ni kan bi ojo meji meta seyin ni pastor deboye bota lati wa apologize ti foro ohun si gbori aye lo jara kan nigbi ti asigba ti pastor deboye ti apologize wi pe kan won yo ma binu lori oro ta won so nipa pe eni ti o ba san idamewa e ko ni ri ijoba orun wo anyone is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven full stop going to be apologizing for making a mistake for saying that if we don't pay tight you, you might not make it to heaven i'm sorry that's wrong that's not in the bible ko lagbara gidigan o leyin apology video pastor adeboye yi to gbori aye lo jara kan o ni opo wa nwoye ni pape se ka wa so bi pe pastor adeboye mislead awon eyan tele tele ni pelu oro ti won so ni pape eni ti o ba ti san wo da mewa ko ni ri ijoba orun wo lele ta se mo bi pe opo awon pastors gan ni won tin tako oro pastor adeboye tele na ni pa owo ida mewa sisan lara won si ni woli makos ti betun wa amo ninu foran yi pastor deboye ti jade lati wa fesi oro lati salaye lekun rere wipe oto ni nta won so oto ni nta ye ngbe ka kire wipe ko da he ile to tun da ju gan oni wike keyin o tun san iyi to ba tun ju ida mewa lo eyan le san ida 20 eyan le san ida 100 yo e so se ka wa so wipe oro ti ko lori owo ida mewa o ti bo si ida 100 ni tori oro lagbara o toju su yan you are welcome to crosswalk x tv remember to subscribe like share and follow us e je ka jijo wo forun yi ka to gbo gbo alaye ti pastor deboye tun se e se oro ti won da pada fa won pastors bi woli marcus tibetan ti won tin tako won lori oro owo ida mewa sisun ke de ma fero tin yin lori ese comment how will you call it contentious issue that have been causing a lot of arguments here and there in the past, is the issue of tight. So I made up my mind that I'm going to publicly ask for forgiveness for anything I, in particular, might have said wrong. about tithe. So I told my ch children on Thursday night, I said, I said something. I said that if you don't pay your tithe, you won't go to heaven. I said, ah, that's not in the Bible. I said, I apologize. I said, what is in the Bible is that you are to follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see God. Ha. Within an hour, it was already in the uh, internet that Pastor Adibri says, don't pay tight. I didn't say that. Fortunately, everything I said is on record. I went to offer what to tell my people. I said it is wrong to tie you down to 10% at a time when, by the grace of God, you should be far, far, far above 10%. I told them a story. Not a new story, a story they have had several times. 
that several years ago I went to Tulsa to attend Kennedy Higgins camp meeting. And uh, they wanted to take an offering for their Bible college. And one man came to the altar together with his wife and asked for permission to speak. And they gave him the microphone. And he said, I beg all of you who are here today, give very well. Because whatever all of you give, that's what my wife and I alone we give. And we were about 17,000 people. Uh, what, what is this man saying? He said, anything all of you put together can give. That's what my wife and I alone will give. Ha. So some people say, this man is in trouble. Those who didn't want to give before now began to give. At the end, they said they should count everything. They counted, and it was $3.5 million that was contributed. They announced it. And we thought, hey, you are the one who got yourself into trouble. He took the microphone and said, brethren, is this all you can do? Ah. So I said, this man knows something I don't know. Uh, as soon as the service ended, I cornered him. Sir, please, I am from Africa. I came all the way from Africa. Tell me your secret. Because we must know something that I don't know. For you to do this kind of thing. He said, you want to know? I said, yes, sir. He said, five years ago, I started a business with $500. And I told God, this is your business. You are my senior partner. I will not insult you by giving you 10%. I will give you 90% and I will make do with the remaining 10%. So it's up to you to bless the business. He said that was five years ago. He said this year, the turnover of that little company is $50 million. Hey. Eh? I said, thank you very much. And I came back home. And from that day onward, I began to increase the percentage I give to God. I told those of my friends who were around, this is what I learned over there. Today, I am not close to 90%. But I'm far from 10%. I'm telling you the story I told my children on Thursday. So I said it is wrong to tie you down to 10% when God would have taken you to a higher percentage. I said... At the beginning, when you were just born again, 10% is okay. Is the minimum God expects from you. But since then, you should have grown. That as you grow in the Lord, you should grow in praising Him, grow in winning souls, grow in praying, and grow in giving. In other words, I said the minimum for beginners is what God calls 10 percent. So I told my young, young ones, I said, so from now on, begin to increase what you give to God.
You know, the only thing they, they put on, on the internet of all that thing that I said is that Pastor Adibu apologized. And therefore, people should no longer pay their tithes. I said tithe should be minimum. It should be for beginners. What I didn't tell them then was <laughs> there was a woman, Mrs. Graham Douglas of Port Harcourt. If you know those who are close to her, she's, she's gone to be with the Lord now. You can check my story. She got born again and came to me and said, Daddy, I know how much I have wasted on parties before I got born again. I am not going to be giving 10%. I will be giving God at least 20% from now till I die. She was in a very poor situation at that time. She took that decision. God looked down on her and began to bless her. Before she died, she had become a board member of a very big bank. Hey, Horaima wa lagbara o, Horai to jusu inyo. Kile roti nyi heye inyo, oju wole fi wubu gwa la yeti pasta debo yetun she. Nino foron yi, ni pa oro wu i dame wa si san. Tori on ni be, ba yon ba she san wu dame wa si. E, be ni yo she ri on i lopu, i lopu e gba lopu long. Ki le ro tinyi e maso opinion tinyi, si komenti. Mm, fa fa ne yi te ba wa fe she ikbo lu wu jata. Ba yi fe kan si wa lori koni yi. E ma kan si wa tru whatsapp number wa, si wa lori facebook page wa. E, e tu jya logbo ikbo lu wu jayi, ni rankwe katu ma lo. Please remember to subscribe, like she, and follow hos. Te ba le ri a me she. Bo bo gun to lo wone, don to lo wone, ban lo ri a ye yin. I na ak ba ra lo ma jo da nan. Ki le nkan te la ko jato da be pe e ti wo na ba yo, shudman ti e ti ri o na ba yo. E e ti e pa de wo li yin lo fa, shudman anan me si o lo ne dadi. Anan me si o lo ne mame, o lo a lo fe shen kan la ne no a ye yin. O lo a so yi pe bo bo te la ko jayin, o fe si o kwen se. Ki ne kan te la ko jato lo be ya wone, lo ri o mani, lo ri ishe ni, ni bi go bo ni, bo yo gun kan lo da bi kwe, o gun ye le, e ti bi yon, joko ti si yon abayo. E jay jow da dua, e jay jow wo jow lua, ki la shiri o gun ye gagan, e jay jow wa di lo wo lono, kade mo na abayo, e ro ba ni soro, te fi kwe me, fun a dua te yon abayo, o na ane plus 234-70-25-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-54-47-